we hear the same rhetoric. Vote for NAFTA, vote for CAFTA, vote for the free trade agreement with China. It's going to increase jobs in America, improve life for the middle class. And yet every single time, the rhetoric around these past trade agreements has been proven to be dead wrong. It will create the world's largest trade zone and create 200,000 jobs in this country. We will have a larger trade surplus with Mexico. The U.S.-Korea trade agreement will support more than 70,000 American jobs. What this means in terms of these increased exports uh, to consumers around the world are more jobs here in the United States. These agreements represent an opportunity to compete, grow jobs, and pro promote American exports. These agreements will help the bottom line of Illinois exporting employers that hopefully will create thousands of new jobs without adding to the borrowing of our state or any new taxes. And we've seen a decline in worker protections, hundreds of thousands of jobs shipped out of the country, and stagnant wages. All it did was increase the drug trade, it increased the amount of guns going into Mexico, it turns Mexico into a narco state. We are now exporting our jobs due to a flawed trade policy and actually a flawed uh, uh, foreign policy. Businesses all across the country have adopted this practice where you shut down production in Wilkes-Barre or in Canton, Ohio, and you move it to Wuhan or Beijing, China, and then you sell products back to the United States. Since NAFTA, we've lost more than 5 million manufacturing jobs. The TPP will boost our economies, lowering barriers to trade and investment, increasing exports, and creating more jobs for our people. On the president's in the middle of negotiating a trade agreement with, with Asian nations, representing 40% of global GDP. This means more jobs for America. This means more exports for us. Uh, this is something we have to get on top of, and I agree with him on that. It is one thing to be fooled once. It is another thing to be fooled twice. It is another thing to be fooled three times. But there comes a point where the American people are catching on that one of the reasons why, why the middle class of this country is disappearing, one of the reasons why most or many of the new jobs being created are low wage and part time, one of the reasons why real inflation accounted for wages for Amer American workers has plummeted is because of these disastrous free trade agreements. So you can fool me once, you can fool me twice, maybe I'm dumb and you can fool me three times. But there does come a limit to how many times you think you can fool the American people.